Hey, it's Ocean. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to show you all a handful of mods that I feel like is going to improve your family gameplay, make it a little bit more interesting and realistic. You all know that I love and value family gameplay so much, and it won't be a ton of mods because I find that very overwhelming when there's a big list of mods. So we're just going to talk about a couple that I'm really enjoying right now. We are already looking at the first one, and this is Play For It by Taurus Designs. It's part of their Little Ones collection, but I just find it so charming. <laughs> and cute um this is going to operate and work like the tent that comes with the dream home decorator so you will need the sims 4 dream home decorator game pack in order to play with it like this but it reminds me of when we built forts as children because there's chairs here it's not just pillows you know like the table is here and i could only fit it out here like fit it outside uh, because it's so huge but rightfully so right and look at this big blanket on top it actually moves and let me see here if we have him sleep in here but i just think it is the most adorable thing ever like i absolutely love this and then i want to show you something else it is another toy that i i literally have not prepared for but it just crossed my mind it's called the tiny playroom set by 6am who um, I think really nailed this look for the kitchen set. It comes with little accessories like this cleaning kit or a little toy blender. It comes with a lot of like other different accessories. This is not functional, but the actual kitchen set is. So for this um, review, I'm just gonna show you this part, which I'm gonna have to add a toddler really quick. Okay, great. So we have a random toddler for this review and now I can't get her out of my mind. Now it's like, I want her in this family, but I'm just, I'm dying to show you how adorable this is. Okay, so here she goes. She's standing on a pile of cookbooks. How cute is that? And you can see she has crayons, some uh, toys in here and everything. You don't know what she's making, but you can only hope that it's good. And here's her little food. Let's put it in her inventory. But here it is. You actually get something. Sticker Rock. A little chef in the making created this uh, thing. It's definitely not edible. She made a sticker rock. Isn't that the cutest thing? Also, for the toy kitchen, <laughs> I just wanted to test and see if Mario could use it. And he actually can use it. So it's not just for toddlers. So keep that in mind when you're using this. You can actually use this for children too. He actually made a peanut butter jelly sandwich. Like out of all the things, <laughs> he's becoming a little chef he actually made a peanut butter jelly sandwich and can he actually eat it too eat it look and it's on like a little special plate the next thing i want to talk about is this one pot meal maker by ice mun mun now you can just make a one pot plate but why i think this is so essential for families is because you can make a one pot meal and it's almost like the slow cooker or like a pressure cooker but it's just a one pot meal <laughs> like on the stove we have some recipes here like spicy lentil stew beef stew cinnamon spice apple chicken dumpling stew pumpkin chili barley stew curd rice savory breakfast oats cinnamon oatmeal maple brown sugar oatmeal creamy crab bisque banana oatmeal blueberry crisp armoretto cherry with dumpling mixed berry oatmeal and i'm so excited to see what other recipes we'll have but i think what we're gonna do is i mean we could do some savory breakfast oats because it's still breakfast but i think that chicken and dumpling stew is just calling my name and what i love about this is the pot closes and i could have probably moved this with bb move objects and put it on top of the stove you can actually like hear it boiling i don't know if you can hear it but um now it's cooked it's done and you can grab a serving of it that fast and the rest of the family can grab something too mom's like "Ooh, what are you what are you cooking up in here you're gonna be a chef <laughs> you're gonna be a chef when you grow up the next mod that i want to show you all is going to be perfect for all of my storytellers out there and anyone that just wants to make connections with your sims and your saves and not have to go through the trouble of trying to actually make this happen all right let me show you what i mean so i have my sim here mario and he has a friend named tania so i can click on her and i'll see this option called family connections this is by a deep indigo you're going to be allowed to set a family connection because some of these you cannot set up in sims and create a sim menu so for instance if i want tania to be my half sibling I can go ahead and do that. So let me go to Family Connections. I can set Tania as my half sibling, even though this is just his friend. And I can open her profile and I'll see that she is now labeled as my half sister. So this is perfect, again, to add those familial connections to your Sims. Also, if you, for example, let's just go to my Sim Billy here and have her invite over. Um, 
Let's fight over Kirsten. And it looks like Kirsten is already here. So Billy just invited her over. And I'm just using her as an example. If you find any sim, I mean, even a sim that you haven't met before, played before, you can actually go to actions and then you'll also see family connections here also. So if I click on her, let's just say step parent. And you'll see this new menu comes up and you're like, whoa, I just wanted to make Kirsten the step parent. You can do that. So you can find Kirsten in this panel and make her the step parent if you want. But doing this in person allows the game to populate all sims so that if you just want to set a connection with a sim that you haven't even met before, you can. If I want Bella Gov to be my stepmom, it will go ahead and add that sim in there. And now when I click on Bella, you see that it says that Bella is my stepmother, which... It's only for storytelling purposes, okay? Because when you go to your Sims genealogy, you will not see uh, that Sim as your step parent or your half sibling. It does not affect the genealogy panel at all. The next mod is going to be for kids. Mario here wants to save some money for some new toys, and he can do that by going to the phone, to the business tab, and clicking on Kid Doodle Job Listings. So this is originally a mod by It's Katato, but it's been um, taken over by a Deep Indigo. So all the updates and everything will be through a Deep Indigo. And what's cool about this is if you have the Sims for Island Living, which brought odd jobs to our game, you can now have your kids do a. Uh, odd jobs also and here it is the kid doodle job listings so these are also going to have recommended skills for your children's sims just as they do for the odd jobs for the young adults and up babysitter needed perfect pastries broken computer dog walker needed garage cell lemonade stand phone repair lawn mowing master the creator actually separated you can get the low paying version and high paying version i got the high paying version because this is a mod that i don't use a lot so when i do use it i do just want to get the most money possible for my kids sims but you can choose if you want the realism of only getting a little bit of simoleons, but I'm just going to choose this one. It's, you know, 75 simoleons per hour. And also this is our aunt here saying the puppies I am fostering need someone to take them all on walks. If you can help me with all the dogs as they tend to pull, I will pay well. And while we wait on the kid doodle odd job, I will say that this is the next cool mod that I love. You guys may have heard of it. This is the Void Critter Gaming Tablet by Ravishine. You can actually gain a video game gaming skill just playing with this tablet. And essentially what it is is going to be like using this Void Critter Battle Station, but better. Originally, if you wanted to play with Void Critters, you could only be a child and you had to get this humongous Void Critter Station with the Kids Room Stuff Pack. But now you can use this tablet to do the same thing plus more. You can actually have Link, who's a teenager, come over here and go to Void Critters. He can research an advanced game strategy, battle Void Critters, but he doesn't have a booster pack or any cards right now and train them too. So you can actually shop online and buy a Void Critter booster pack, which will have him buy two, one for him and his brother. And that'll already be in the inventory there. I think his is, where is, okay. So this one is his and we'll place Mario's in his inventory. Make sure that he has some. Let's place the other set of cards in his and open these up open the booster pack it tells you what you've got and it's not just the coolest thing ever and let's click on the tablet again and when we go to void critters we can now train our void critters we have a nymphi i think that's how you pronounce it so we can like train our void critters and he can also train uh, his as well so let's train so here they are they're playing on the tablets with the void critters and i love it because you know it, it can be a whole family thing <laughs> mario is off to his little job but one thing i love about this is you can also battle void critters so we can battle with whatever card we want and battle any of these sims this is our uh uncle in law so let's just go ahead and do that so you can battle it's more advanced than the void critters you're allowed to play um, with the game but you can get some stickers so if you just want some decals you can get some of those i mean it really makes it so that you just it just feels so real right and then you can also buy swag so all of the void critter merch that is in the game you can purchase that so let's just say we want to buy um maybe a nice little poster oh wait was this a rug oh it's a rug that we got <laughs> 
I didn't even know. I thought it was like a poster for some reason. That is cool. I didn't, never even knew that existed in the game. You can also play Void Critter Go, which I love this. Um, when you play Void Critter Go, if you have The Sims 4 Snow Escape, if you recall searching for Void Critters at the Children's Festival, it works like this. So you can click anywhere and search for a virtual critter, kind of similar to Pokemon Go if you've ever played that. Um, and sometimes they will find them. So he has his phone out this time as opposed to the tablet playing uh, the Pokemon on Void Critter Go, I mean. But yeah, you can... Um, go anywhere so he can come out here and check for a virtual critter and hope that he finds one if you can catch 10 before the time limit ends you actually will become one of the revered names of legendary void critter trainers and win a prize hmm, cool awesome link found a virtual void critter um, and you'll also get a moodlet which says play void critter go and so yeah that's kind of cool he was so excited to find one so he, while he does that i'm gonna actually go to my sim billy here who is indeed a teacher and as her duties as a teacher i want her to take her class on a field trip and i know you're like what how so i have some new social events here that i tend to forget about to be honest with you i completely forget about them and that is what this video is for using kira sims for mods custom events you're able to do a lot of things like i have a mother's day custom event the reason why i bring this up is because the custom event mod that i really want to show you is the field trip custom event it costs 10 simoleons i'm gonna make it gold and what's awesome about this is that again if you have a teacher sam like my sim billy this is gonna be so fun to do you can choose your teacher you can choose a chaperone which i'm just gonna make my husband the chaperone let's just go for that and then you choose your students so this would be fun if you already had a class especially if you had a club and you had your students in there but i'm just gonna choose some random students you can choose a total of 15 and i think i'm just gonna choose uh yeah just like five <laughs> and then after that you go and choose where you're going to go so i think i'm gonna take them to the art center in san maishuno so they can look at some art i'm gonna have it right now because we are short on time but you can schedule this on the calendar which i would suggest doing all right, so now I'm at the gallery and it says here we have to socialize with our students, eat food and view an object. Now this changes because sometimes it says to talk with your students and not eat food. So I don't know what kind of food we'll be eating, but hey, <laughs> did y'all pack your lunch? But here you can see it says that our husband is the chaperone. And if you click on, um, if you roll over the students, it does say that they are the students with us. I had to introduce myself to all of these kids. Oh my goodness. But because <laughs> I want to form a group with them. But how I would use this is already kind of have a class already Already made then make a group like an actual club like you know billy's class so I, I just i love this right this is how we're supposed to use the sims you know use the tools they give us to make something better i'm going to socialize with them a bit and uh let's see enthuse about cats we have to eat food but let's go ahead and view an object so let's view this together and this just gives you a good idea of how this works like could you imagine really going on a field trip in the sims 3 we got prompts that the kids were going on a field trip but it was also a rabbit hole so with the this mod it makes it possible to see them going on their field trip and now they're going to view this photo but yeah it looks like we already kind of maxed this out and you kind of get the gist but this is definitely a really good thing to have don't count out the social events let's go ahead and cancel this and head on home we got a reward and we actually got 250 simoleons it says the field trip went so well and everyone had so much fun your boss wants to thank you for a great field trip by rewarding you an extra 250 simoleons for work today the next mod that I want to show you is going to uh, deal with the make resolutions tradition that comes with the Sims 4 seasons. So originally, if you have this in game, you'll be able to click on your Sim and you'll be able to make a resolution. But I found that we didn't really have a lot of options and then they get kind of redundant. So with a deep indigo's more New Year's resolutions, you have new options like adopt a pet, donate to charity, become pregnant, meet new Sims, travel somewhere new and enjoy local cuisine, read more books. You can also make it a goal to get engaged to a significant other or get married but we're already past that point so he can't do those so we could possibly just say we want to you know donate to a charity so hey just by making the new year's resolution you just have something new to do and i love this again I'm, i love mods that already kind of add to what you have going on so it just expands what we already have and that's like some one of my favorite things so he has seven days to complete that if he wants to but just for the sake of this we're just gonna go ahead and complete that now 
So donate, let's donate 1,000 to foundation for, no stem left behind. That's my favorite charity. The next mod that I want to take a look into is going to be a Deep Indigo's Family and Friends Activities mod. You all are probably familiar with that, but I also have some add-ons. So the Family Activities is going to allow you to go to a bunch of different activities with your family um, and whoever you want to invite. So here you can see there's a lot of things to do. You can even go to the clinic if your sim is feeling ill and they'll come back feeling better. You can go to a parenting class and they'll gain some skills, pumpkin patch. With the horse ranch pack, you can also go visit a racetrack and this will be a rabbit hole where your sims will just leave the lot and they'll visit you know a horse race and speaking of horse ranch we also have the pet care activities that has been updated um, so if we click on our pet here a lot of this is the same however if you do have horse ranch you can now go on rabbit hole um, activities with your horse so if we had a horse we could actually just go on a ride but it'll be a rabbit hole so we don't actually have to go on that ride with our horse and we can just go have our horse go for a ride with a jockey and still have that training. But I mainly use pet care activities to go to the vet and send my sim with their vet to get a checkup or shots or anything like that. I, it's so convenient because sometimes I don't like to visit and leave my lot. I've spoken about the infant and toddler activities. Some of this is just so adorable. So if I want our toddler to go on half day preschool or have a story time at the library, a parents and me class, all this is great because again, it's a rabbit hole. It gives your sim something to do. We can also use dating activities, which I think is amazing. If you go to dating activities, we can have Billy and Hart actually go and choose a date activity, which I've used in my Lovesick LP before. I love this. So look at all these cool date ideas. Pop-up museum, escape room, sip and paint, couples yoga. So we may just do the couples yoga and here they are. They're just gonna go off and leave to some couples yoga. Billy is back from her date activity and so is Hart. And you can see here, since it's boosted from the couples yoga date, you do get a mood lit from that. But while the kids are still in school, I wanna talk about the next mod, which is by Kawhi Stacy, the Better Schools mod. They are currently in school, but there are some things that I can show you at their house as well but while they're here if I click on them normally we only have a couple of options but if I click on them while they are at school we can play games on our phone which definitely lowers our school performance we can do our homework in class we can flirt with classmates listen to the teacher we can scroll simstagram so you can choose um, anything you want to do here i think i'm going to do my homework in class and just get it started and also so can mario so mario can play with toys play games on his phone um and what did I have him do? Do homework in class? I'm going to have him play games on his phone and we'll see how that school performance is impacted because right now it's on excellent, but right now he's playing games on his phone. So that can't be good, right? The Better Schools mod makes it so that you have more options on how you participate in class. It does give you the option also to be an online learner or uh, if you want to go to school, uh, you do have to manually send them to school if you want them to go to school, but they have the option to just stay home and do their homework and things like that. You need this school only pc to bring up the school portal it is custom content even though it just looks like the normal pc that we have in game but it is included in the mod but when you click on it you'll see you have an option for the school portal so if you go to school portal you can actually go and to the classmates tab you can meet your new classmates so if you want to make friends without having to visit all of these sims you can do that which i love i love that so much um so when he gets home he can go ahead and and do that you can also do your homework with a classmate and you can study with a classmate you can choose which classmate you want to study with isn't that awesome but i'll wait till he gets home till we dive into that even more Leo is back from school and i'm just gonna have him come up here and meet some classmates so that he can add someone else in his relationship panel. So we have Atlas as our new friend here. If we go to school portal, go to study and homework. If we study art, and now you can see creativity is highlighted. He is gaining his creativity this way as opposed to just doing his homework, you know? Um, and I just find this so beneficial, especially with kids, because sometimes if you have big families, it is very hard to gain everyone's skill the traditional way. I'm just being honest here. Let's go to classmates and do our homework with Kennedy, our cousin. So we'll do our homework with her. We're actually gaining some social in the process of this, and we'll also be finishing our homework up as well. Mario is still here, and I know you're probably wondering well how do you know when he finishes homework well if we go back to his grade book now homework has been complete and actually the really cool thing is that he's reached social level six just by doing his homework with an additional sim and the interesting thing here is with link if we go to the school portal study and homework let's say we study health and fitness okay this is amazing again for building skills for your sims 
untraditionally because again who has time for all that look at how many skills he's building by studying health and fitness all of that is affected with his health and fitness so right now you see cooking and oh my goodness right now you see cooking but here you can see fitness gourmet cooking baking wellness and fishing are all affected also because it all is under that umbrella of the health and fitness and i know you're probably thinking that's just ridiculous but again i mean even if we study let's say study science let's cancel this out and have him study science now you see writing logic and rocket science are actually affected so it's not a glitch it's just gaining more skills than one when you do it and that is it for the mods i hope you all enjoyed this and the mods find you well if you did find something helpful please let me know in the comments i hope you um, have fun in your game but yeah without further ado i'm just gonna go ahead and head out i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to like comment and subscribe just keep simming always always stay wavy and i will see you in the next video peace out